what is going on youtube chris bnt back with another video In today's video i do have a harley quinn build that i have been using to completely dominate this end game by my doly i run the same exact build when i'm with teammates but for some reason the co-op is somewhat bugged sometimes your shield harvest isn't registering your bullets aren't registering your burn isn't afflicting you know what i'm saying it's just it's a mess i've been choosing to take the solo play route i have been going crazy this harley quinn build will get you through a lot of these tiers but real quick listen i know this is not the build that everybody is running this isn't the max damage fire build you know what i'm saying but this is a build that i know is viable enough to continuously take you further in the end game without having to run the same thing everyone's running and it's a different little play style to it you know you'll see in the breakdown the melee piece i got kind of adds a little twist to instead of just kind of running jumping around with your minigun setting everybody on fire with all that being said i don't want to take up too much of y'all time let's get straight into the video all right here we go here's the harley quinn build that i have been using to continuously push me higher and higher through these mastery levels so right now we got the master pain machine this motherfucker right here boy i ain't gonna lie it may not slap in the incursions but you'll see like when you put this on and you just open world farm on your way to the incursions you're melting shit this thing is a game changer i'm telling you this motherfucker is nasty i got 10 percent ammo reserve capacity rolled 20 percent smg damage 50 percent damage to burning enemies with this fire up. nothing too crazy all right Onto the minigun. This thing right here, yeah, this one of them ones, you feel me? All right, so check it out. I got 9% ammo reserve capacity, 90% heavy weapon damage, and 50% damage to burning enemies with this firearm rolled on here, right? But that's not really what we paying attention to. Check out this talent. Each enemy hit with this firearm receives black mask mark. Applying a black mask mark to three different enemies within six seconds causes all marked enemies to trigger a fire explosion that burns nearby enemies. With the burn build, you're gonna need this talent. Ain't no, ain't no simpler way of putting it. You know what I'm saying? All right, on to the next piece, which I believe is different from what everyone else is running. We got the Bad Sport Legendary Bludgeon Melee Weapon, right? So I got 4% ammo gain for melee hits, 5% traversal attack resource for melee hits, and 15% affliction resource for melee hits. Check it out. Melee hits deal no damage, but generate 35% affliction resource, okay? So clearly you see my affliction I have on there is fire, right? One, two, three, burn. All right, that's just, just get used to that, right? Along with this, you get 5% suicide strike resource and melee cooldown is reduced by 50%, right? So that's faster time you get to swing your melee weapon, more build up to your affliction on that melee weapon. So then if you're out of nades, if your black mass bullet storm ain't bullet storming, right? And you're not getting none of that fire on these motherfucking enemies. This is another viable option. This is the perfect perfect option to now start burning your enemies. Pay attention to that talent. Melee hits, right? Melee hits deal no damage but generate 35 percent affliction resource look above that the purple uh the purple attribute i have rolled 15 percent affliction resource from melee hits right 50 percent affliction resource i am gaining per melee hit you know what i'm saying but i won't lie i think it's bugged i do have to still hit one two three to build up a full bar of burn but as you can see 35 plus 15 is 50 it should be one two I'm not sure if my math is wrong i'm not understanding the game but yeah it should be even better if that is a bug so on top of that already applying that burn check out these nades man we got the lxe rapid disruption legendary lex corp grenade so i got 17 explosion radius 10 percent grenade drop chance 49 percent grenade damage on burning enemies pretty simple right the talent though increases grenade capacity to 10 but reduces grenade damage and radius by 60 percent we don't really care about that we're not going for grenade damage right we want to we want to know how are we going to apply burn to these enemies the fastest and the most consistent rate you know what i'm saying that's all we want so the rest of it says grenade pickups give three grenades instead of one beautiful this is beautiful you know what i'm saying like it's just it's like everything's just coming together with this shit man you, you, it doesn't get any better than this right so you got grenades you got the black mass bullet storm you have the melee weapon putting motherfuckers on fire too let them all burn in shit i don't know like what do you feel me all right y'all moving on over to the shield mod we have the master heat waves molten skin i had suicide strike resource generation rolled on damage reduction and damage reduction from infused enemies i will not lie <laughs> i think this attribute right here the damage reduction from infused enemies is a must because if you know then you know them motherfucking brutes at the end of that damn on, on the third round of that damn incursion 
constantly, constantly, constantly ground and pounding. That shit ain't annoying to y'all. I had to roll this shit on. I had to roll this on. So pay attention to this talent as well. Each enemy you burn that isn't already burning makes you invulnerable to damage for two seconds and returns 10% of damage received back to the attacker. Each additional enemy burn increases the duration by two seconds up to a maximum of 30 seconds. You got a better one? You got a better piece to put on? All right, I didn't think so. Check it out. Let's go to this traversal mod. This thing right here. This is what you call best in slot. You hear me? So check it out. We got 10% ammo gain from traversal attacks, 5% traversal attack resource from melee hits, and 50% more damage to enemies that are within five meters of you. Yeah, that's right. We doing that. So check this talent out. Each second spent standing still adds a stack of steel force conduit. Each second spent moving removes a stack of steel force conduit and adds a stack of speed force exhaustion. A lot of people were confused about this, but if you read, you'll understand it. You know, just, just read a little bit deeper. Steel Force Conduit, right? This is what you get from standing still. Increases damage reduction by 5% per stack. These stack up to 10 times. So you're looking at 50% damage reduction standing still, okay? Let's say you're moving. Let's say you're not standing still, okay? That's cool. Speed Force Exhaustion, which is what you get when you're moving, increases damage done by 50% per stack. Do the math. 50%, 10 stacks, 500% damage when you're moving, 50% damage reduction when you're standing still. I don't know how y'all math is mathing, but if I stand still, when a brute coming to ground and pound me is that not 99.6 percent damage reduction i mean damage reduction overall an additional 49.6 percent damage reduction from infused enemies wouldn't it make attacks from those infused enemies 99.6 my tweaking? Moving on to the neck bomb mod. This is another thing that we have different. I currently do not have a better one to run. There is a more viable options, but I'm not going with that Hugo Strain specialization. That shit is capped. As you can see, I do have one right here, but I just, I just don't, I can't get down with this talent. After afflicting five enemies with the same affliction, you are now immune to damage from enemies afflicted by that affliction for 20 seconds. All right, so when am I ever really on fire though? You know, I ain't never really on fire in these incursions at all. So I'm kind of like, ain't no point to that. I don't, I, I think squeezing more damage in this mod slot would be a lot better, you know? So instead of that piece, I am running the HCI upgrade legendary neck bomb mod. I got 10% XP gain, 23% crit hit damage, and 49% damage to burning enemies. Pay attention to this talent. You deal 50% more damage to enemies that are below 50% health. With this burn being applied in these ticks, it's normally one or two ticks, their health bar is halfway gone. Guaranteed that last tick, because sometimes at three ticks, the burn goes away from me. Again, I don't know if this is a bug, I'm just doing what I can do for this build to make it apply to how the game is being played currently. So normally after that second take, that third take always, always, always gets them out of there. And moving on to the last piece, once again, what do we call this, ladies and gentlemen? Best in slot. Oh my God, Jinx's unlucky coin. This is the notorious villain piece from Jinx. We got 37% pickup radius, 10% grenade drop chance. 10 nades, yeah, stop playing on me. And then we got 50% damage to burning enemies. Check this talent out. You gain 750% increased damage to a specific affliction for 20 seconds, right? This effect rotates through the available afflictions in the following order. Order don't really matter, but here you go. Diablo Blaze, Deep Freeze, Livewire Bolt, Venom Frenzy. You also gain 250% increased damage to afflicted enemies passively, right? At all times, three afflictions that are being applied to enemies wherever whatever it may be i'm, I'm doing 250 percent damage right whichever affliction i'm currently on in the rotation add 750 to that you feel me add 750 to whatever you have already on your build so let's say i got 200 percent damage to burning on my build let's say it's let's say it rotates on a diablo blaze my damage is now 950 percent to burning enemies check this out let's say you have everything specced into damage to burning enemies what's that say right there i am currently doing 469 percent damage to burning enemies when the rotation hits diablo blaze add 750 to that ding 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 ladies and gentlemen we have a winner look at us <laughs> oh yeah real quick before i forget can't forget about the bane infamy set bonus right we got the tier three bane's fury so one piece bonus is you deal four percent more damage to an enemy for each one percent of their health that is missing that's just more damage stacked on top of all this burn that's being applied to these enemies so if my mini guns out of ammo i have a viable piece you know what i'm saying to deal that damage to enemies all right so that just about wraps it up for this build explanation i did attach some gameplay at the end of this so you could choose the watch it if you wish it was a mastery level 68 incursion run so you can see that it does work in these higher tier mastery ranks all right that's it for me i hope you guys have a blessed 2024 i wish you nothing but peace and love it's chris vnt and i'm up out of here
free. 